The NFL Helmet Challenge was a multi-million dollar competition to create better helmets and improve player safety. After two years of innovation, three teams will receive grant funding to improve their helmets for eventual use in the NFL and throughout football. Collide, Impressio, and Zenith. Each has unique technologies and are developing revolutionary new helmets. Here's a look into their labs and cutting edge helmet designs. Collide is the combination of different uh, Montreal-based startups that are specialized in uh, design, 3D printing, engineering through simulation. My name is Franck Lenaveo and I work as research coordinator at Collide. All the companies are based in Montreal and we didn't have any experience in designing helmets or producing helmets. So we came with fresh mind to, to tackle this challenge. The prototype that we have produced, it really looks like a standard helmet, but what is interesting is the liner that is inside. It's made of 3D printed pads with a mesh structure, and we were able to calibrate this mesh so it can absorb and redirect the energy, so hopefully it can better protect the players. Our helmet is made of 95 different pads with mesh inside and each pad is different. Each mesh is like optimized to absorb the different type of impact that a, a player can uh, receive during the game. So as you can see, the helmet looks pretty standard for a football helmet, but we really worked on the different aspects so it behaves the, the best during an impact. So we worked on the shell. This one is a demo shell, but the, our shell can deform quite a lot so it can distribute the impact on most of the liner. They are hanging on a sling, kind of a net, so it also it gives some flexibility and it can really be conformable during an impact. We were super excited being recognized by the NFL. I think it shows that the technology that we have developed has some potential to be worn by player and also that the NFL trusts us that we can bring this prototype even further uh, in the next year. Impressio was founded to introduce and commercialize a revolutionary new kind of material called a liquid crystal elastomer. It's unique that it's highly energy absorbing, it's highly rate dependent, and it can mimic a lot of the natural tissues in your body, such as like cartilage or even muscle. My name is Christopher Yakaki. I'm the president and CTO of Impressio. I'd always thought inside the body, could I use it to dissipate shocks and impacts in joints? But then I thought, well, all the same concepts, maybe principles should apply. Turns out a, a helmet, it's a system of components. It's, it's a pretty difficult one to solve, but it, it really kind of got us started and got us down that pathway to say, we have a great kind of shock and impact dissipator. Why don't we try to use it for head protection? So here is an example of our NFL Helmet Challenge prototype submission. You can see it looks like a pretty normal helmet. And then our main focus was changing the insides. So if I pull this back, we can kind of see the lattice structure. We have these buckling columns, which their whole goal is to buckle in the impact. And then next is the LCE inside. They will absorb the energy as well and we can mold these into different sizes and different shapes. And this is the material that's inside the 3D printed liner that is helping with the energy dissipation. So the two are working in a system to help reduce the severity of the impact. None of the materials that we put on the inside are used in a traditional or commercially available helmet right now. So from the 3D printed TPUs, and 3D printed, I'd say, tough rubbers that we're using inside of our shell to the liquid crystal elastomer material. These are just brand new materials that have never been used before. Zenith makes football equipment to cover the athlete's needs from head to ankle. My name is Ron Jadiski. I'm the chief engineer at Zenith. The ability to work with the NFL for over a decade has been great for Zenith. It allows us to get into the locker rooms, talk to players, understand what their needs and wants are from any type of equipment that might go on the field. Team Zenith's helmet prototype, starting from the outside of the shell in, we have a variable stiffness shell, which allows it to perform soft in some areas under impact and firmer in other areas. Moving inward, the variable stiffness shell is complemented by the Rion Labs material. 
When we got the chance to partner with Zenith and actually go for the Head Health Challenge Award, we jumped at the chance. And what we've done here is we've got a material that behaves very differently, soft and flexible at low speeds, and then they stiffen up for medium speed impact, and they stiffen up even more for high speed impact. The second technology on the inside of the helmet shell is really the lattice that we've developed. This lattice structure, as you can tell, is very porous. It's also been designed for supreme comfort. The combination of all of these different technologies really allow the helmet to perform supremely well as a system and provides optimal comfort for that on-field experience. We might not have, you know, the bulk of the market share at the NFL level, but the fact that Zenith is really the only manufacturer at this point in the challenge is a true testament of Zenith's innovation in the space. What we can do through research, collaboration, and developing innovative products, it really just shows you know, what the future of Zenith could be. These are the innovations driving the future of football helmets. All three teams, each with roughly a half million grant funding dollars in hand, will continue to advance their helmets for use across the NFL in coming seasons.